بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله العلی العظیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی الله علی سیدنا و نبینا عبد القاسم المصطفى محمد و آله الطیبین الطاهرین لا سیما بقیت الله في العرضین اجل الله تعالی فرجه الشریف الحمدلله we have to fear to meet and it is always a source of joy for me to meet uh, 80 world brothers and sisters and I hope that inshallah we can be more regular in our meetings and inshallah events and in particular inshallah to have every year inshallah the uh, Ziara program inshallah in the month of Ramadan which is the spring of the Quran and therefore is the spring for spirituality and it's beginning of the spiritual year so every Laylatul Qadr marks beginning of another spiritual year so we receive lots of blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lots of treatments a special gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala some of them we notice for example we see that alhamdulillah we have tawfiq to do extra good work extra about extra charity work spending more time with family spending more time with community uh, but there are things that we don't understand for example we don't understand how this month is bringing with itself mercy and barakah and rahmah as rasulullah said قَدْ أَقْبَلَ إِلَيْكُمْ شَحْرُ اللَّهِ بِالْبَرَكَةِ وَالْرَحْمَةِ وَالْمَغْفِرَةِ The month of Ramadan is full of barakah, full of rahmah, full of maghfirah. And also we are honored by Allah in the month of Ramadan. جُعِلْتُمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ كَرَامَةِ اللَّهِ So it's amazing, we should always ask Allah to give us more tawfiq to witness more month of Ramadan inshallah number one and number two when we are in the month of Ramadan to be benefiting especially witnessing Laylatul Qadr and number three to keep as much as possible to maintain as much as possible the blessings that we have received from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan so now I want to talk about this third one as was suggested that how we can maintain what we have achieved in the month of Ramadan for the people that have not uh, you know been fasting or have not had experience of the month of Ramadan sometimes you know they think Muslims must be very much suffering in the month of Ramadan and, you know they feel very you know sometimes sad for us but everyone who has experienced months of Ramadan even non-Muslims who have tried to experience what Muslims you know experience for example they tried to observe fasting and then with Muslim friends you know for example break their fast they realize that months of Ramadan is very uh, rewarding time very spiritual time especially i want to emphasize on the fact that you feel you are very empowered you feel that you have great energy and determination we very much need determination sometimes if for one hour only my meal is late and delayed maybe i feel you know not 
you know, comfortable. Maybe I cannot focus on my work. I said, because I'm hungry or I'm thirsty. I have not had my tea or coffee. Or, for example, um, people who smoke, for example, you know, they feel very bad if they don't smoke for a few hours sometimes. But in the months of Ramadan, we are able not to fast, uh, sorry, not to eat, not to drink, but rather we fast from Fajr till Maghrib. Even sometimes you may not believe that you are able to do that, let alone other people. And not for one day, not for one week, for whole month. What does this show? This shows that we all have hidden willpower. We have hidden determination that we have not cached, we have not utilized because we always do things as we like and we are very fast. Always instantly we want to respond to our desires. We want to enjoy ourselves quickly. But what grows humanity, especially spiritually, intellectually, is to have ability to control yourself, take your time, and respond when it suits you, when it benefits you, when in the long term it's going to satisfy you, not in the short term. We are not going to, you know, say that forget yourself, forget your desires, forget your pleasure. No, what we say, don't go for the shorter ones, for the quick ones, you know, stance ones. Consider your long-term pleasure, long-term success. So determination is great thing. As I always say in you know lectures about prophets that Allah among all the people in the world has selected 124,000 uh, 4,000 prophets Nabi 124,000 out of them has selected 313 messenger Rasul not every Nabi was Rasul. Every Rasul was Nabi, but not every Nabi had a message to deliver. Many prophets, they received revelation, but not a message of their own, not a book of their own. They preached and taught people what a messenger had brought. But 313 were Rasul. Out of them, five are most outstanding. And these are Ulul As. People of great determination. Today, more than any time else, we need determination. As a student, you have seen, determination makes miracles. You have seen how in your exams, how in your studies, if you were determined, you succeeded. If you were not determined, you couldn't make great success. Yes, there are people who are very intelligent, for example, if they study a little, they can, you know, pass. But if you want to always get the best results, you need determination. You need to be able to prioritize long-term interests over short-term interests and stand by your decision. Don't allow exceptions, don't allow, you know, uh, ad hoc decisions, especially today when, first of all, we in general as human beings, we have become too de much dependent on technology, on facilities, on instant responses. So our determination is less used and therefore less, less empowered. And today also is the time that everything is like a race. In the race, you don't have 
lots of time. So you need to be very careful and just focus on what is helpful. And this needs determination. So on the one hand, the current is not in favor of having a strong will and determination. You are pushed softly, gently towards what gives you instant satisfaction but deprives you of your greater potential. You are pushed to that way. But we need to be very much in control of our decision because it's the time of race. And in the race, if you are not careful, then you will be left out and you will never be catch up, able to catch up. My idea has been, as I said in uh, Jose, you know, once we had a Akhlaq lecture in Jose, and I said that there a few years ago that I think in future, and right now actually, it's not, now it's not future, we see that the battle is battle of determination. The battle is not battle of money, although money helps, but if you are determined, you gain money. It's not the battle of weapon, it's not the battle of even manpower. If you are determined, you will succeed. Quran says, Kam min fi'atin qalila, ghalabat fi'atin kathira bi'idhnillah. Maybe a small group can defeat with determination a large group who are maybe even richer. Maybe they have more instruments, more, I don't know, weapons, whatever. And when I say weapon, it's not necessarily in the military sense. For example, you know, as a young person who has, I don't know, um, ambition in science, in medicine, in business, in whatever. Maybe there are people who are much more established, they have much more resources. But if you have ideas and are determined, you can succeed. And when it comes to nations, when it comes to people, this is very much true. Those who have collectively decided to stand by their decisions and by their ideals and aims, they can succeed. This is why we see that one of the characteristics of companions of Imam Mahdi is that they have determination. Imam Ali Ali Salam says that if they want to move mountains, they will do it. If they want to move mountains, if they decide that now we need to make a passage, for example. And this example, of course, we are not literally talking about mountains, but it's an example. If needed, they will do it. So, my suggestion is that one of the best things that we can keep with us to remind us always of the month of Ramadan and to uh, keep what we have saved, inshallah, in the month of Ramadan is to work on keeping your decisions. Be determined in doing what you know is good. If you have started, for example, daily recitation of the Quran, see what is manageable after the months of Ramadan, but keep it. I'm not saying the same thing in the months of Ramadan. Maybe in the months of Ramadan you had more time, but see what is possible, keep it. If you were able to, for example, say your Salat on time, keep it. If you were able to go every day to the mosque, at least see what is possible at least once a week. Definitely go to the mosque. If you were able to meet brothers or sisters, were able to see, uh, see, uh, see sisters, you know, do something together, keep it and be determined. So, determination is one of the greatest gifts that we all receive in the month of Ramadan, and we need to keep it and grow it so that inshallah we would be able to achieve. Enduring success, Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam.